हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर विशाल फ्रॉम महाराजा अगर सैन यूनिवर्सिटी बदी हिमाचल प्रदेश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल टूरिज्म आंतरप्रन्योरशिप सस्टेनिंग क्रिएटिविटी एंड इनोवेशन अंडर द पेपर टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी आंतरप्रन्योरशिप एंड लीगल एनवायरमेंट After completing this module students you will be able to understand the concept of tourism and tourism entrepreneurship need of tourism entrepreneurship and importance of tourism entrepreneurship tourism entrepreneurship today tourism is not only one of the fastest growing industry but it is the biggest job provider as globalization has significantly changed the scenario of tourism industry this sector has shifted from air travel overnights etc to the entire experiences associated with the tourism destinations this new observable fact is not only influenced by the rising income levels but also by the new way of life into a new generation of tourists increasingly people travel worldwide to have a life and reaching experience of culture outdoors and learning this drift provides the people with all together new type of tourist who wants to get inside the destination by meeting the locals and want to learn about the cultures and the communities this new trend provides new opportunities for the tourism sector with the increasing number of domestic as well as international tourists though demand is increasing but there is mismatch between demand and supply as we do not have significant we do not have sufficient tourism professionals to match the demand so there is the need of tourism entrepreneurship so that the available local opportunities can be sought right on the time and to make india a more attractive tourist destination irony of the tourism is that tourism and entrepreneurship except few exceptions remains deviating themes that are not considered the way they should be so that they can be made one and synergies can be drawn out of them so there is a need of the strategies which take together both the themes and make it together tourism entrepreneurship concept of tourism tourism is a social cultural and economic occurrence which involves the movement of people to countries or places outside their normal surroundings for personal or business or professional reasons such people are called visitors which may be either tourists or excursionists residents or non residents and tourism has to do with their activities some of which imply tourism expenditure it can also be defined as the activities of the individuals traveling to and accommodating in places outside their normal surroundings for not more than 
one successive year for vacation trade and other reasons not linked to the activity related to the place visited there are different branches of tourism inbound international tourism it can be defined as the visits to a country by non residents of that country outbound international tourism when the residents of a country visit to other countries it is called as outbound international tourism domestic tourism when the residents of the country visit their own country it is called as domestic tourism internal tourism it is the visit by the residents and non residents within the country that is the combination of domestic and inbound international tourism national tourism it is the visit by the residents of a country within their own country and to the other countries that is the combination of domestic and outbound international tourism components of tourism there are five components of tourism that is accessibility accommodation attraction amenities and activities these components of tourism are also called as five a's of tourism industry which are discussed in detail as follows accessibility it refers to the ability for tourists to reach the destination this comprises transportation which needs to be frequently scheduled economical safe and comfortable the important modes of transportation are road rail air and water transport accommodation it means tourists have a place to stay and food to eat on reaching at the destination it can be of two types primary accommodations and secondary accommodations primary accommodations include hotels resorts heritage hotels etc and secondary accommodations include motels youth hostels holiday centers etc attraction it means that a place visited should have appeal that forces tourist to visit two types natural attractions and man made attractions natural attractions include climate mountains beaches etc and man made attraction include theme parks museum historical monuments etc amenities these are the basic facilities that every tourist takes for granted and are supposed to be provided for example drinking water telecommunications roads public toilets etc activities these are the entertainments available for the tourists in an area it can also be natural and artificial natural activities include sea bathing possibility of fishing etc and artificial activities include entertainment parks water parks etc now let's discuss the types of tourism there are various types of tourism which are discussed as heritage tourism eco tourism adventure tourism wildlife tourism and pilgrimage tourism various types of tourism different types of tourism in india are the following heritage tourism india is rich in heritage so heritage tourism is the main attraction for 
टूरिस्ट इन इंडिया इंडिया इज मैग्निफिसेंट पास्ट एंड कल्चरल डाइवर्सिटी मेक अ स्ट्रॉन्ग ब्लैंड विच ड्रॉज मिलियंस ऑफ टूरिस्ट ईच ईयर टू इट्स हेरिटेज टूरिस्ट अट्रैक्शन हेरिटेज टूरिज्म इन इंडिया हैज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज ड्यू टू द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ मैनी फॉरनर्स इन द टेम्पल्स एंड हेरिटेज ऑफ इंडिया हेरिटेज टूरिज्म इन इंडिया हैज डेवलप्ड इन रिसेंट ईयर्स बट देर इज कैपेसिटी फॉर फर्दर ग्रोथ विच कैन बी अचीव्ड थ्रू म्यूचुअल एफर्ट्स of the government of india and the tourism boards eco tourism eco tourism involves traveling to the places that are known for their natural beauty and social culture while making sure not to damage the environmental balance eco tourism concerns about the diversity of the naturally gifted place and maintaining its beauty and cultural heritage the government of india has set up the ministry of tourism and culture to support eco tourism in india along with other types of tourism adventure tourism adventure tourism has recently developed in india this involves journeying of remote areas and exotic locales tourists prefer to go to ladakh sikkim himalayas for trekking they come to himachal pradesh and jammu kashmir for various skiing activities water rafting is also attracting people to places like uttaranchal wildlife tourism india has a rich forest cover which has some beautiful and wonderful species of wildlife some of which are very rare this has increased wildlife tourism in india there are 502 wildlife sanctuaries in india promoting wildlife tourism pilgrimage tourism india is a land of different religions and is probably best destination for any kind of person following any faith around the world there are many places in india which are considered holy by people of diverse faith because of their spiritual significance people come from all around the world to see the religious serenity of the country tourism entrepreneurship tourism enterprises refers to the business projects related to the tourism which work on the certain business principles sinclair and stabler have defined the tourism enterprise as a mixture of products comprising of accommodation natural resources catering transport entertainment and other amenities and services such as tour operators shops and banks a person or a group of persons who are producing and managing tourism products are called as tourism entrepreneurs tourism entrepreneurs should poses all the characteristics of an entrepreneur along with the service sector expertise according to shaw and williams the service sector proficiency involves two elementary objects one is related to the profitable structure of the industry particularly the supremacy of few activity components and possession groups while the second concern to an understanding of the general association of financial authority structures
therefore tourism entrepreneurship can be defined as the process of creating idea associated with tourism and thus using expert skill and competences to expand a new business or to broaden an existing business to generate employment wealth and social goodwill in other words tourism entrepreneurship refers to the events of the most important group of stakeholders of the service sector mostly planned to meet the demands and supply of the tourism and at the very same time to achieve the competitive professionalism and gainful socio economic status in simple words it includes all the activities concerned with forming and operating legal tourism business a legal tourism business doesn't include the types of tourism or tourism related activities which are not in favor of normally acknowledged laws of the land for example in india drug trafficking wildlife hunting flesh trading etc are treated as unlawful and prohibited therefore do not come under the scope of tourism businesses tourism entrepreneurship provides helps in overall economic development and boost for local resources and utilizing the local resources to the fullest growth of tourism entrepreneurship in india it is a well known fact that today a country like india is full of the tourism opportunities though we were little slow at the beginning in promoting india as a tourism destination after the independence tourism industry was not given the preference and in the first planning commission tourism industry is ranked at 269th in the list of priority industries which is two lowest during post independence the important issues like agriculture and infrastructure were given due importance and tourism sector was ignored as it was supposed to be luxury affordable by few although the tourists coming in india were near about 15000 things have not changed much over the past decades during third five year plan tourism got approximately 0.11% of the total plan outlay in the eighth plan it was rupees 272 crores but still 0.11% of the total plan outlay from the time when the concept of tourism has emerged tourism growth has taken place with a very reasonable rate in few countries today tourism has developed as the tourism has emerged as the largest industry of the world with large number of opportunities at present it reports to 8% of the world trade and approximately 20% of the service sector in the world and has assisted nations in development from backward to developing to developed for example tourism industry adds to more than 70% of the national income of few countries like singapore and malaysia the world tourism organization has estimated that within 10 years period tourism industry will generate 385 million jobs internationally and if in india also generates employment at par as 
world average 25 million additional jobs will be generated in the country but the growth of tourism in india has so far at a very low and is indicated by its significant share to national income and to the world trade while tourism assists to more than 70% in the national income of some of the countries like malaysia and singapore its share to the national income of india is yet very low at 2.5% though india has around 15% of the world population with its 2.5% of the world territory its share only 0.40% of the world tourism market in 2006 india has 47th place out of the top 60 tourist places of the world the unfortunate circumstances of the indian tourism are not due to lack of tourism potential but due to non utilization of the plenty tourism potential she is blessed with the world travel and tourism council have recognized the potential of india for tourism growth as india has prospective to turn out to be the number 1 tourist destination in the world with the demand increasing at 10.1% per annum following are the some facts and figures about the indian tourism contribution of tourism to the national gdp in 2008 6.23% contribution of tourism to total employment in the country 8.78% revenue creation by tourism industry in 2008 100 billion us dollar tourism revenue is projected to flow from 2007 to 17 42% rank of the indian tourism in reference of the price competitiveness in the world 6th rank of the indian tourism in terms of safety and security in 2007 39th Number of foreign tourists visit in 2006 4 million increase in tourist arrivals for the past 2 years 13% annually foreign exchange earnings from tourism in 2007 rupees 23 billion growth of domestic tourism from 2002 to 2004 15 to 20% expected growth of tourism industry during the next decade 10% Following are some more features of the Indian tourism industry representing its important role in the national economy. There was 12.7% rise in coming of foreign tourists to India within one year from 2006 to 7. In 2006, Indian tourist industry had seen a growth of 14.3% which reached around 3.89 million in 2007. The arrival of the foreign tourists led to a tremendous growth in the foreign exchange earnings which increased from 5.3 billion US dollar during January to October 2006 to 6.32 billion US dollar during January to October 2007 which is a 25.6% rise Nonetheless the outbound chart of the tourism industry in India is an equality to the inbound one people journeying from india to abroad or domestic tourism have increased by 25% the united nations world tourism organizations has projected the outbound tourists to arrive at around 50 million by the year 2020 understanding the potential of tourism development in the country the government of india has given stable importance to tourism development and thus a tourism cell was created in the department of transport in 1949 it was a beginning of the formation of a separate ministry of tourism under the charge of a cabinet minister in 60s afterward an exclusive tourism policy stressing the objectives of tourism development in the country was disseminated by the government of india in 
Tourism was given a status of the industry in 1986, thus entitled for several incentives and benefits including tax benefits, subsidies and priority in the sanctions of loans by the state financial institutions. It was also declared as the priority sector for foreign investment in July 1991. The Government of India is giving due importance to the tourism sector and is declaring separate tourism policies to further boost the tourism in the country like other third world nations because of the two major reasons. First, tourism needs smaller capital investments and also does not require any industrial gestation period. Second, it can provide employment to a large number of population covering skilled to unskilled. In addition, it also offers multiple benefits like encourage economic development, develop our lives with rich experiences, to gain respect for other cultures, helps in international cooperation and peace all over the world. Tourism is an important activity and because of domestic and international, the economic benefits are enormous. Some of the countries are completely dependent on tourism sector for their survival. Therefore, there must be growth of tourism entrepreneurship so that tourism potential can be used for the economic development of the country. Importance of Tourism Entrepreneurship Employment Opportunities It helps in providing employment opportunities to large population covering from skilled to unskilled as it is a labor intensive industry. Foreign exchange. It helps in generating foreign exchange for the country and is third largest earner of foreign exchange to India. Income generation. As it has a wide potential and helps in attracting large number of tourists, therefore it increasing income. Increase in gross national product. As income increases, therefore it adds to the gross national product and thus helps in increasing the GNP. Infrastructure development. It helps in building of roads, railways, etc. Thus encourages infrastructure development. Diversification of the economy. Tourism entrepreneurs can be linked with local products and resources and thus helps in diversifying the economy. Government revenues. It helps in increasing governmental revenues by generating profits. Standard of living. Tourism entrepreneurship helps in improving the quality of the life because of the higher level of income and thus leads to improved standard of living. Preservation of heritage and tradition. Tourism helps in reinforcing preservation of heritage and tradition so that large number of the tourists can be attracted. Enhancement of cultural heritage. Visitors' interest in local culture offer employment for artists, musicians and other performing artists thus helps in enhancing the cultural heritage. Enhancement of local facilities. Tourism entrepreneur provides tourists the basic amenities and recreational facilities that may be used by a local population. Favorable image. Tourism helps in breaking down language barriers, social culture barriers, class barriers, racial barriers, political barriers, and religious barriers, and thus creates a favorable worldwide image for a destination. International peace and cooperation. It promotes a global community by supporting international understanding and peace all over the world. 
So students, let's now summarize what we have learnt in this module. India is rich in heritage and thus attract large number of tourists all over the world. Tourism has developed recently to a great extent but still there is a large scope in India. There is a lot to explore in India. Tourism has a major economic impact on the country as it helps in generating foreign exchange, employment and income. But this economic impact can be generated only if the tourism resources will be explored. So, for the proper utilization of the tourism, a resource, there is a dire need of the tourism entrepreneurs who can make use of the local resources to the fullest. Thus, tourism entrepreneurship can bring new life to the tourism of the country and hence can help in more foreign exchange. Therefore, it contributes to the economic development of the country. Thank you.